Now we'll go back to our character and add in the rest of our story. Here, we're going to broadcast a new message that will change to a new backdrop after this one. So let's go to the events section, grab broadcast feel, but this time we're going to change this message to a new message called learn and press OK. When we broadcast this message, we want to continue our story and use the prompt that says, one thing I'm learning, and fill in the blanks for your story. So in the look section, we'll grab another say hello for two seconds and fill in your story. For my story, I'm going to fill in one thing I'm learning is how to bake desserts. And then I'll change this to four seconds. And I'll continue with another say hello for two seconds block. And I'll fill this in to continue my story. Now my code says, since I'm staying at home, I spend most of my time in my kitchen. And I'll change this again to four seconds. Next, we'll do the same process as with our second sprite, but with a third sprite. But first, we want to tell our second sprite to hide. So in our second sprite, we'll add in the code to have it hide after it receives the learn message. So we'll go back to the event section. We'll grab when I receive, but we'll change this to learn. And then in the look section, we'll have it hide. That way, we'll only see this sprite when we see this backdrop. Now we can add in our next sprite. Since mine is about making desserts, I'm going to get the sprite of a cake. So click choose a sprite and find the sprite for the next part of your story. I'm going to use the cake and we'll add our code here. This sprite is also going to hide at the beginning of our time capsule. So we'll go to the events section, grab when green flag clicked, and in the look section, we'll tell it to hide. And just like for our second sprite, we're going to listen for a message. So we'll grab when I receive, but we'll change this to learn. And when I receive the learn message, I'm going to have this sprite show up. So we'll grab the show block from the look section. And then we'll change the backdrop to one that matches this sprite. So I'll grab in the look section, switch backdrop to. And to add a new backdrop, I'm going to click backdrops in the stage. And then I'm going to click backdrops at the top and click choose a backdrop in the bottom. Since my time capsule is talking about cooking, I'm going to use the refrigerator. Now let's go back to our sprite, click code and make sure you choose the correct backdrop. So mine will be refrigerator. Now I'm going to test my code to make sure everything's working properly. I'll click the green flag, make sure I'm using my first backdrop, and then switch to my second backdrop, and my sprite appears. And on my third backdrop, the second sprite disappears and my cake appears. Depending on the sprite that you choose, you might want it to do different things. In my case, I'm going to have my cake switch costumes. So after it shows and switches backdrops, I'm going to grab in the control section a forever block. And in the look section, the next costume block. I'll also go in the control section and add in a wait one second. That way, when my time capsule gets to this part of my code, my cake 
will change costumes. Now we'll add in one more sprite and one more backdrop to use our next writing prompt, I really miss. So we'll go back to our character, go into the events section, grab the broadcast block, and we'll add a new message to broadcast. This one will be called miss. Press OK, and we'll fill in the time capsule with that writing prompt. In the look section, grab say hello for two seconds, and change the text to fill in I really miss. My time capsule is going to say I really miss going to the park with my friends and playing basketball. And then I'll change this to four seconds, grab another say hello for two seconds block, and continue my story. Now it says, instead, we play video games and chat online together. And now I can choose my other sprite and other background that I'll switch to for this part of the time capsule. So I'll click choose a sprite. And I'm going to use this basketball. Inside of the basketball, I'm going to have it hide at the beginning of the story again. So in the events section, I'll grab when green flag clicked, in looks, I'll have it hide, and then in the event section, I'll grab when I receive, and for this one, I'm going to be receiving the message miss. And when I receive miss, I'll go to the looks section, grab the show block, and then switch the backdrop to what backdrop I choose for this part of my time capsule. So to add a backdrop, I'm going to click the stage, click backdrops at the top, choose a backdrop at the bottom, And I'm going to use basketball one. Now you'll see that the backdrop is added to the list. I'll click my basketball. And then I'll click code at the top. Then I'll make sure that the switch backdrop to has the correct backdrop, basketball one. And then I'll have my basketball bounce up and down. So in the control section, I'll use a repeat 10. And then in the motion section, I'll use a block change Y by 10. This will make my basketball go up. And then in the control section, I'll add a wait one second block. And then to make it come back down, I'll go to the motion section, use change Y by 10 again, making sure it's inside of the repeat block. But I'll change this to negative 10. That will make my ball come back down. 